Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Sarah Super Clamp HD 2 bike platform rack here on our 2014 Toyota Prius V. So the Super Clamp HD is impressive because of its versatility. It can carry bikes of different shapes and different sizes. It's very small and compact too, which means it doesn't take up too much space. So we will talk about those features but we're going to focus on our Prius V here today that we can see how it works with the car and then you can get the best fit for you, your different types of bikes, and your Prius. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the tilt away feature. We actually have a lot of clearance back here even with it in its upright position. Like good enough where you can kind of open up the hatch and grab something real quick. But if you need to get your larger items or you want to open up the hatch all the way, what you can do is you just step or push on that lever, let that bike rack drop down, and now you have a lot more clearance between your door, your pedals, your handlebar. Like you have a large cargo space. This is a way to take advantage of it. Get your helmets, get your bags, get your backpacks. And then once you got all of that, all you need to do is lift up on the rack, it snaps into place, and just like that, you're ready to hit the road. So very easy, very fast, helpful for if you need to grab something real quick. Now, what types of bikes can you carry with this rack? You do have a 60 pound weight capacity per bike, which is impressive. If you have your heavier e-bikes, this will be good for that. But also, if you have, let's say, carbon fiber frame bikes, step through frames, women's bikes, children's bikes, some of those require a frame adapter bar. This has zero frame contact. So you have your front wheel mounts, and you also have your rear wheel clamp. So they're all on one mass. So what I recommend doing is when you get your bike on there, just focus on getting your front wheel clamp on on each side, and then the rear clamp can go pretty much wherever as long as it touches the tire. So because of that, you have that versatility for bikes of different shapes and sizes. But not only does it have clamps on each side, but it also has a wheel strap. Now, I like the wheel strap just because it gives it that extra grip and support. The downside to the wheel strap is it's a little bit of a process for when you want to get your bikes on and off of there. So compared to something like the Kuat NV or the Rocky Mounts Monorail, which is once you get your bike on there, you just put one wheel strap, one clamp, and you're good to go. This one has a little bit more to it, but you know, also extra support. So there's different pros and cons there. But once you have your wheel straps off, you then, as you hold the bike, you press on the lever on the hook, and then that allows you to release it upwards. So press the lever and get those clamps up, and now you can push the clamps out. So it's just a back and forth kind of thing. Get the lever, push that clamp out. So you can see how it's a little bit of process, but definitely something you can do on your own. And once you've got that out of the way, you then just grab your bike and you are ready to go for a bike ride. I'm just gonna find a spot for our bike here so that we can take a closer look at the rack itself. So notice how the hooks are made. These are just gonna be your hard construction hooks but since they are angled, that's so that they can attach or hold on to your tires at different points on there. So they ratchet down to secure the bike. Before we bring it down there, notice how in the center you have a spot for your integrated cable locks. We'll talk about that later. So just push all of these in so it's nice and neat. And let's talk about our cradles here. So these actually can move back and forth once you have this loosened or tightened for different wheelbases, the maximum wheelbase you can carry with this is going to be up to 50 inches. Notice the grooves on the tire as well for your thinner road bikes or your wider fat bike tires. If you have tires over 4 inches though, you will need to get this separate fat bike adapter. You also have those integrated cable locks on the side. Helpful for securing your bike. I personally think they're a little too short though for fully wrapping around the bike, so you may want to use your own cable lock. 
as you can see, it's very compact, so it doesn't take up much room, whether it's in your garage or on your car. Let's take some measurements for that. I'm gonna measure from our bumper here all the way to the end of the bike rack, which is by these hooks or these clamps, and that sits at 31 inches of length. So if you're backing your Prius V into your garage, that's something to keep in mind. I mean, you don't really have that big of a car, so you have plenty of clamps to work with. Another clearance measurement is going to be the ground clearance. So measuring from underneath the super clamp to the ground, it's 15 and a half inches. Compare that though to where the shank is to the ground, and that is 11 inches. So I actually got the two inch eco hitch here for my Prius V. So if you have the smaller hitch receiver, this will not work with that. We'll talk about that later. So ground clearance is important when you need to go up those steep inclines, like those driveways or those hills, especially when your front goes up, your back goes down, you wanna make sure your bike sit higher up off the ground. So the next thing we're gonna do is, what if you're not planning on going out for a bike ride just yet? We also don't wanna take your bike rack off. This does weigh 38 pounds, so it's not the heaviest rack, but you might still wanna keep it on your vehicle. What you can do is remember where you tilted away. You're gonna get that lever again, but this time lift up on the rack and it snaps into place into the compact or portable position. So we'll take some measurements again. Closest point, see here where our front clamp is? We have about an inch of movement back and forth, but nothing too crazy. So that means the closest point it's gonna be from the bumper to the front wheel clamp, four inches of clearance there. Next is gonna be the length now added to the back of our car. So from the bumper to the hinge, that sits at 18 inches. So definitely helpful when you're driving around town and you don't wanna take up too much space. Now good question is, can I still open up my hatch with it folded up like this? As you can see, it just barely clears, but definitely clears. That's really good because then I still have access to putting away my groceries, grabbing some items real quick without having to move the bike rack back and forth. That's what it's like living with a bike rack behind you all the time. Notice with it folded up, you definitely have that hatch clearance. Your rear view mirror is still visible. It definitely doesn't cover your rear license plate. Well, it covers half of your license plate, but your backup camera is offset towards the driver's side. So what happens is when I back up, I can kind of see the bike rack in my view, but I can also see the view behind me. What I do lose is gonna be the ground below, so keep that in mind. You may want it in the down position if that's gonna be a major issue for you. Now, how did I fit this on the Prius V? Like I mentioned, I do have a two inch hitch, and this has a two inch shank. This will not fit for your inch and quarter hitch receivers. You may want to consider the Super Clamp EX instead if you really like that design. So that fits into the hitch receiver. We have an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. Now that lock is key to alike to the cable lock we had over towards the center. You get two keys and they access both the bike rack and the bikes. I use a three quarter inch socket to tighten down the anti-rattle bolt right there. So you can see with that tightened down, let's do a little bit of a shake test. And shake our bike rack back and forth, up and down, and it's solid, it's sturdy, no movement there. I'm really just moving the car at this point, showing how nicely that fits. So, my personal thoughts about the Super Clamp HD is I really like its versatility. I like that I can mount both like my step through bikes or those e-bikes or those carbon fiber frame bikes. The downside to the Super Clamp is that even though it does have a 60 pound weight capacity, you will still have to lift those 60 pound weight up onto that rack. Plus, if you do want to use this with your RV, that's something worth considering moving it back and forth. So definitely a solid rack. It does take some time to put your bikes up on there, but I do recommend it for your Prius V. This was a look at the Serra Super Clamp HD 2 bike platform rack on a 2014 Toyota Prius V.